What's up everyone? My name is Will and welcome to the German Kitchen. A few days ago I was having a chat with one of my American friends and we were also talking about this newly started channel and therefore also about food. And since I live in the suburbs of Munich, at some point we were talking about, of course, pretzels. So I was talking with my American friend about pretzels because I thought about making a video about it. But then at some point we stopped at the word Obatzter. I was quite happy to explain it to him because it's, I think, one of my most favorite cheese bread I can think of. And it's quite easy to make as well. Literally every beer garden in Munich and probably also in Bavaria offers Obatzter on their menu. You should definitely try it out whenever you come to Munich. And if you can't wait that long, I can also show you how to make it at home. It's quite easy actually. So let's go. So the first step is to prepare the base. And for that, you need two loaves of camembert. Before processing the cheese, place it in the refrigerator for at least half an hour so that you can cut off the rind without any problems. And don't bother with the remaining rind left on the cheese. The last bit won't hurt as long as you cut off most of it. The next step is to dice the camembert. Try to cut equal sizes. Now comes the part where you add all ingredients together. First, add two large tablespoons of sour cream. Next comes all the spices. I added half a teaspoon of paprika powder, pepper, salt and mustard. Next comes one ounce of unsalted butter. Be sure it has room temperature. And the last ingredient is a small, finely diced onion. Use a fork and start squishing everything together. As soon as you have a homogeneous mass, put a foil over the bowl and leave it to rest for 30 minutes. Serve it on a plate with a pretzel and you're ready to dig in. All right guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as you can see, the preparation for Obatza is not very complicated. You don't need a lot of ingredients or a lot of time. So let me know in the comments if you tried it at home as well. I'll see you next time.